today i am going to present about arrays and strings and its operational applications first we are going to see about arrays arrays are the simplest and most widely used data structure and these are the collection of data of same type and size and stored continuously in memory and it is often the case that these data items are closely related to each other and it is a particular item in the collection is called an element then arrays are extremely time efficient the time efficiency will be easily comprehended if we compare accessing an element in an array to accessing an element in say a linked list then array is an abstract data type which can be an array of integers or array of floats these are the arrays dimensions and notations the fundamental array is a one dimensional array multi dimensional arrays could be thought of as a sequence of arrays or array of arrays then one dimensional array is visualized as a row a two dimensional array is visualized as a table with the rows and columns and three dimensional array is visualized as a stack of tables these are some of the importance of arrays arrays are used for used of the most widely used of the data structures these are uh, hardly a program that will have no use for an array for example uh, students in a class or uh, marks in different subjects or daily price of gold these are the some of the function operations on arrays fundamental operation of an array are to store an element fetch an element insert an element delete an element when insertions and deletions takes place the actual number of elements will be less than or equal to the maximum number of elements this depends upon the method adopted for deleting and inserting the elements these elements can may be continuous or may be scattered within the memory reserved these are applications of arrays arrays are used to implement mathematical vectors matrices as well as other kinds of rectangular tables it is used to implement other data structures such as heaps hash tables the queues queues tags strings and wheels and it is used to determine the partial or complete control flow in programs as a compact alternative to context as control tables or to strings string is a sequence of characters stream of bytes can always be thought of as a stream of characters while stream of characters may not always be thought of as a stream of bytes importance of strings uh, even numbers are represented in terms of strings during input and output there are two types string manipulation and string searching most compilers provide a library for both these functions string representation is rep it is represented as one or two byte data Uh, then it is uh, represented in memory in different ways in popular methods are using a termination character using length prefix thank you